tell us a little bit about Cargill today. Well, we're 155,000 employees in 70 countries. Our basic products are in agriculture, food, food ingredients, and nutrition. We do have some brand branded products like Truvia, the all-natural zero-calorie sweetener. We just sold our 10 billionth sachet of Truvia. It went from zero to it's the number two tabletop sweetener in the market today, and it's the number one stevia-based sweetener in the market today. But basically, our business is getting food from where it's produced to where it's consumed. Everything from buying soybeans or corn, barley, wheat from the farmer, putting it on a, a truck, a rail car, a barge, a ship, and maybe exporting it to China from Brazil or from Canada to China. And also taking that food and processing it in some way. So we might take soybeans and crush them to make cooking oil, to make soybean meal to feed chickens. We buy cattle and, and make beef. We buy turkeys and make and sell whole bird turkeys. Honeysuckle white is another branded product of ours. But one of the things we like to say, which is difficult to prove, but you probably consumed a cargo product at some point in time in your in your in your day. That whether it was we fed we feed about a third of the world's salmon, for example. I mentioned we make beef, turkey, chicken around the world. Um, we're the number one supplier of eggs to McDonald's. So we don't have a high recognition, name recognition, because we don't have a lot of branded products. Uh, but the ingredients that we make, and also the fact that I think that we're private, means we are kind of off, off the radar. But that's okay, we like it that way. Our purpose, our stated mission, is to be the leader in nourishing the world in a safe, responsible and sustainable way. We're going to 9 billion by 2050. We're at 7.4 today. Now to me, 18 years is a snap. There's 1.3 billion more people in the world today than there were just 18 years ago. But I think that's one of the great challenges of our time. So we spend a lot of time thinking about in the production of food, how can we produce more food with fewer or the same resources and how can we do it in a responsible and sustainable way such that we don't continue to put a strain on the earth's resources and that we can feed the next billion and a half people without using significantly more water or producing more greenhouse gas or more land. But we're going to need to be able to scale agriculture through the use of technology. So for example, we just made an investment in a partnership with the Nature Conservancy and Nestle. And it's basically an acoustic listening device that when a farmer irrigates their field can tell the level of saturation in the ground acoustically and stop watering. And so our job is to, to bring technology, whether it's satellite imaging, drone imaging. I told our CIO I want us to be known as a technology company. Bringing technology and having technologically advanced businesses that help us achieve our, our mission of being safe, responsible, and sustainable producers of food. We also have a partnership where we're producing protein replacement for fish ingredients in the fish feed through fermentation, through agricultural products. And agriculture is, has been a slower industry to, do, to develop its technological resources. I think it's going to come pretty fast in the next five to ten years. So we have excellent relationships uh, with heads of state. I spoke to a head of state just an hour ago about what's going on with NAFTA and what we can do to keep trade lanes open, keep trade relationships open. The issue with President Medvedev wasn't related to that plant in Ukraine, it was related to uh, just some help on getting our, we, we're building a sunflower crush facility in Volgograd in Russia oh. and it was uh, going a little slowly due to some administrative congestion if you will and so I asked him for his help in clearing up the, the bottleneck. Did he do it? He did, yeah. He made a call down to the governor and uh, the governor of the Bogorod state and uh, that plant is up and running today.